Hello everybody, Steam God Studios here, and today I am actually going to be racing at a different place this time. I'm going to be racing at Kyoto Driving Park. They got some pretty cool shifter carts there. They can go up to 100 miles per hour, which is quite a lot faster than what I'm used to, so I actually hope I survive out there. But nonetheless, even though I don't have that much experience with this kind of speed, I'm hoping that I can pull in a good result today. Qualifying went well. I was able to set a 44 second lap time, and that puts me at around mid-pack range. So, uh, yeah. Let's head over. Alright, April Fools, I'm actually not going to a park. I'm actually just playing Gran Turismo 7, but their daily race is a karting race. So I've got my wheel set up, which I actually haven't done for Gran Turismo 7 yet. I actually like the controller, but uh, because of the haptic feedback. Um, this wheel is $60. The haptic feedback is a bungee cord, and the pedals are all plastic. So when it comes to locking up, I just gotta hope that, um, I don't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how this race goes. It looks like I qualified in, ooh, I qualified all the way down in 12th at that time. I guess people are coming, coming quite a bit faster. So, uh, yeah, let's get this race started. Last place? Oh my goodness, this field is very fast. Like a whole second faster than me. Alright, already went up a position there. If I can just keep it clean, I can probably gain a lot of positions. A lot of default people up back here. Gotta watch out. Hopefully I don't get bumped. I see him on the radar. The steering is very sensitive for this cart, so I'm make, making the smallest of adjustments to get around. Alright, here comes the braking zone. Oh, oh, that guy went right through me. Thank goodness, I didn't want to get punted. Oh man, people are all over the place. Oh, I'm on the thing. Alright, and I saved it. Man, that guy did a whole jump. Alright, hope oh, there's a guy right there. In a pink mobile. Just gonna give him the space. Alright, I can slot in now. I have the radar in the. Oh, I had to lift off there. Don't wanna get a drop nose penalty. Those actually don't exist. Uh, I'll just get a penalty for bumping into them. Oh man. Good job, good job on him for keeping it on the track. Never mind. Alright, that is a lot of positions gained from just people crashing out. I want to actually do some racing here. Not drive to survive. Alright, yep, people rage quitting in the bottom left. Alright, we're on to lap 3. We're actually doing pretty good. We moved it up to 8th place from 12th. Let's see if I can catch up to Speed Racer here. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. And this is the only braking zone on this entire track. It's very scary. That's why I'm so cautious through it. It's very easy to just die. I had a little hint of a lift there. I turned in a little bit too late. Oh, I'm on the curb, I'm on the curb. Okay. That was a very scary moment. The smallest of adjustments. It's where you can find the most speed. Maybe if I'm a little later on the brakes. Oh, that's scary. Very scary. Well, maybe a late apex. Nah, that's just not hitting the apex. Oh, I needed to lift a lot there. Oh, someone. Really sent it. Oh, okay. Thank goodness for ghost mode. The speeds of these things are just ridiculous. 105 miles per hour. How do the carts even grip around here? Well, I guess they're on super softs, but still. Looks like the pack is just really escaping ahead there. I 
Just don't make any mistakes. I've already made up so many positions. Oh, three wide in there. That's crazy. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Like, with the plastic pedals, I just can't tell when I'm walking up. And then all of a sudden, the back end becomes light and I'm in a wall. I'm trying to be brave, but like, it's literally impossible. I'm glad there's only one braking zone. Alright, let's see if I can get my spot back. Oh, that, that was, that was scary. That guy just went flying past my screen. Oh, that was perfect. I didn't need to lift at all. Oh, that guy lost it, and he left. I have a feeling he got punted off, because that's a rage quit right there. So I got my spot back, but not from the guy I lost it to. Looks like we got two more laps to try to make this move. He's going to hold it on the inside for some reason. I'm on the rev limiter of this thing. And brakes. And then power. Oh, okay, that was scary. Oh, he, he, he pushed it. He pushed it too hard. I might be able to take him here. I'm in the slipstream. I'm in the slipstream. Wait, what's he gonna do? Oh, I needed a lift off. Alright, I'm gonna move in on the left here. He sees me, he moved. Alright, oh no! Uh, this thing's so sensitive! I, I literally just... Uh, <laughs> I literally just... Uh, dang it. Yeah, because it's plastic, I can't really put my weight on the wheel, and if I distribute my weight at ev unevenly at all... Oh, and I just totally missed the braking zone there. Oh, and then the... Okay. This is fine. Finishing up two positions from where I qualified, but... That is not at all how I wanted it to end. I feel like an absolute fool. I just winked under the helmet there, but yeah. Terrible. Just terrible. Yeah, if I, if I put my weight anywhere unevenly, it just moves it, and that's just enough to send me off the grass. That was about to be a good race there. It's unfortunate, but 10th place, raised up two positions. Um, not a bad result for how that went. Um, so yeah, happy April Fool's Day. Um, some virtual content, and you can look forward to this camera quality and... Uh, the microphone as well is working now. You can look forward to that in the next real race at PGP Motorsports Park. It'll be our sixth race of the winter season. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.